possible. The starting 11 only costs around $30 million. They've invested more than that with the promise of more to come. But even their wildest dreams, surely they couldn't have expected this so soon or ever. No red carpet in Leicester. It had to be blue. That's the changing face of the game. Look at the amount of backroom staff Arlo that are there with them. a player at this football club in the 1970s the club's ambassador and lead cheerleader on the PA system before the games and what a moment for him says he's dedicated the last 40 years of his life to this football club what a moment for Alan Birchinal A smile as wide as the river saw is long. He always does a run for charity before the final home game. He completed his 36th consecutive one before this game. That tradition hasn't changed. He said about Leicester City's fans, they were dreaming. I said, dilly ding, dilly dong, they wake up and the dream is a reality. I can only thank them with all of my heart. And Claudio Ranieri will receive the first medal. Richard Scudamore, Chief Executive of the Premier League. squad members making their way out number eight Matty James who played such a huge role in the great escape at the end of last season 363 days ago tore his ACL and has missed the entire season so far I've heard that he has a chance of coming onto the field next week against Chelsea we shall see Robert Hoof and Danny Drinkwater suspended today who tweeted out that he's going full John Terry, coming out of his kit on. True to his word. Jamie Vardy with two goals today and a missed penalty.
Richie Delap on loan at Middlesbrough. Andy King scored today. Danny Simpson, formerly of Manchester United. Here's the captain. He'll be presented with the trophy by Steve Worthy, who won a competition citing his grandmother Gladys Kenny as the embodiment of the spirit of the game. Gladys is 97 years old. Her first game was the 1949 FA Cup final, which Leicester lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers. There he is, Steve, with the scarf around his neck. Gladys gave up her season ticket two years ago because of deteriorating health and failing eyesight. 67 years as a Leicester fan. Nine relegations in that time, four losing FA Cup finals, but she's now a supporter of the champions of England. in this tiny, previously anonymous corner of the East Midlands, in the final resting place of the last King of England to be killed in battle. For this fearless football club and its ecstatic fans. Yes, Leicester City do believe in miracles. They are the Premier League champions, the champions of England for the first time in their 132-year history. Wes Morgan, Claudio Ranieri. Lift the trophy to the skies. Leicester City are the champions of the Premier League. 5,000 to one shot. They have stunned the football world. It's the greatest tale told in the history of English football.